Today on the Stony Ridge Farm, we dragging the poopy. Woohoo! <laughs> Guys, we're gonna do some pasture management today. I hope you enjoy the video. I ain't afraid yeah. of work. I ain't afraid of play. I ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way. I ain't afraid of life. Times like this. If you mess with my freedom, I'll tell you just what you can kiss. Hey there folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another gorgeous day here on the Stony Ridge Farm. It is time to work. <laughs> so it's evening time here. The sun's about to go down. Now we got about two hours of daylight left. And what we've got to do is we've got to take Big T, the TYMT 1104, 110 horsepower tractor, and the Wingfield Batwing Drag Harrow, and we've got to go over and drag our pastures where the cows have been. So I've got a little bit of a new program this summer on the farm, and I hope you guys will enjoy this. This is something I'll give you a report on probably in about a month or so. But what we're doing is going in by behind the cows with chickens. So you'll see the mobile chicken coop over here. The chickens are there to scratch through the manure, to fertilize, to help catch the flies, to help with fly control. This will also help with fly control too. So we're gonna take the drag harrow over. We're gonna drag all the pastures that the cows have been on for the last few days, maybe a week or so. And then we're gonna hop on the bat wing mower and we're gonna knock the tops out of the grass. In other words, we're not trying to mow it down this high. We're trying to mow it about six to eight inches high. So we knock the tops out, we shake that grass seed out and we stimulate growth. That way when the cows come back through, they'll have fresh, good, tender, wonderful grass. And we keep that grass in the stage of growth that it grows vigorously. So without further ado, let's fire up the tractor and get to work. All right, guys, as you can see, Big T is a handy tractor. I'm actually going to drag the driveway with the Wingfield Drag Harrow before we get out here and we drag the pastures. Not only is this drag harrow super cool for dragging our pastures and stimulating grass growth, but it's also super cool for dragging our driveway and making our driveway look like a groomed ski slope. It really, really looks nice. didn't understand why this is called a bat wing drag harrow, I guess you will right now. You'll see that the wings go down on this. This thing shrinks down to about 14 feet wide, which is a little bit tight going through most of my gates, which are 16 foot gates, but we make it through. You might be scratching your head. What in the world is Stony Ridge Farmer doing? Well, what we're doing here is spreading out manure pats so that the cows will consume all of the grass, not just the grass that's not near a manure pad. In other words, if I don't spread this manure out on the pasture, the cows will avoid the tufts of grass that have manure close to them. So what we're trying to do is spread this out on the land as best we possibly can. And what that does is stimulates grass growth it stimulates the root systems of these plants and it's supposed to rain in about two days and that will open up tiny grooves for the rain to absorb and we'll have more moisture in the soil. So that's what this is all about. So if you think about a cow patty, it might be four, five pounds of manure 
and it's all concentrated in one specific spot. We've got to spread that out. And what I've found is over time, spreading this manure out makes better grass and better pastures. It builds better pastures. So we're just spreading out the nutrient on the soil. It's just that simple. that thing can be a bugger to unhook. Um, it's just because of the hydraulic top link, but if I didn't have the hydraulic top link, I wouldn't be able to adjust it on the fly as quickly. The hydraulic top link makes the Winfield Drag Harrow a different bird. Now, let's back on up to the Batwing over here. Batwing is super easy to hook up. There's a proprietary system on the Batwing. I'll show you real quick. So the Batwing has three different hydraulic hookups, one, two, three. All of them go to different things. Some of them make the wings go up and down and some of them make the mower deck go up and down. So there's a cylinder here and here that make the bat wing fold out. And then there's a cylinder here that adjusts the height of the cut, okay? So we're in the lowest position right now, which is probably gonna be somewhere in the neighborhood of eight to 10 inches. I'm shooting for eight inches or so. Now, there's a proprietary system on this Woods Batwing cutter. Let me show you. This is my pin. This is a toe. In other words, I back in and my tongue catches that. I drop a pin in and then I lower this, but this is the proprietary system. So typically with a Batwing or any large PTO shaft, you'd have to lift it up manually. With the Woods system, you just grab this, and lift it up and then plug your PTO shaft right there into the back of the tractor. As ever tempting as it might be to hook up a PTO shaft without the doggone tractor running, don't do it. Just don't do it. Get in the practice. Don't do it. I need to make an adjustment to this so I can make it work a little easier. Locked in, collar's in place, good to go. That's how easy it is. That simple lift system is super nice to have. Wow. Okay, let's get down here. We'll lubricate this thing. We'll see you in the morning. Next day, we made it to the next day. Thank goodness, guys. I was beat up after working all day yesterday, bouncing around in the tractor. So we gotta go ahead and lubricate everything. A smarter person than me would have done this last night before they took a shower, because inevitably, when you're using your grease gun, you're gonna make a bit of a mess. So we got a one, two, three PTO shafts to lubricate, and we've gotta check the oil in our gearboxes. We'll show you how all that works. So again, this is the Woods BW 15.5. Each one of these gearboxes, and you can see 511.22 is when it was filled up. Each one of these gearboxes has a dipstick in it. So once you get it settled down into a low position, all we gotta do, pop out the dipstick and we're in good shape right there. So we'll snug that guy back down. There's an O-ring on there. You gotta be careful not to boo-boo and pinch that O-ring. Just nice and snug. 
wipe it clean. Now the cool thing about the Woods Batwing here is this, one of the coolest things about it. When we want to lubricate our PTO shafts, we don't have to negotiate around a bunch of guards, we just flip up the guards. So flip that guard up. We've got lubrication points in each one of these CV joints right here, or U joints, bam, bam, and the lubrication points are right on the tip. So very simple. Rotate this guy around. There's one there, there's one there, there's one there. There's a few on each one. Very, very simple. So something I've learned here is you can rotate this to slip your cover back off of your PTO shaft, which is really cool. And our lubrication point is right over there on that side. And this has a little notch cut out just to reach in there, or we can just pinch it right there. Now, we'll check all three gear boxes and we'll lubricate that shaft. All right, we're lubed up, ready to go. I'm in here mowing behind the cows so that we stimulate grass growth. What happens is the grass will shoot out a seed head. So in other words, the grass will grow vigorously down next to the ground, then it'll shoot out a seed head. And when that seed head emerges, that's when the grass is going into what we call senescence. In other words, it's going to sleep. We will want to wake it back up. We want to keep that grass in the vigorous growth stage. And the way that we do that is by mowing. And if the cows don't eat it, then we need to mow it. We've got to chop the tops out of these real quick. We're not going to cut it down very short, but we're going to cut it enough to stimulate regrowth. And by the time the cows get back here in about 14 days, this grass will have rebounded and will look fantastic. One cool thing about this Woods Batwing Cutter is it mows like a finish mower almost. It's almost as good looking as a zero turn when I get done, so the pastures look fantastic. Guys, somebody just showed up. <laughs> And they're pretty fun people, so we're gonna hop out. <laughs> oh man. Ah. I've been in the machine for, I guess, about two and a half hours, three hours, something like that. Looks awesome, but <laughs> a special guest just showed up here. Uh, I don't know, how'd you get it running? How'd you get it running? You turned the key, started right up. Oh, was the battery charged? No. Uh, Cousin G. What's going on? <laughs> he hit me up. He's like, man, can I come get my dump truck? I said, yeah, dude, come on and get it. That's cousin Thomas right <laughs> Hey, there. Thomas, good to meet you, man. <laughs> well, guys, 
we got the job done. I hope you enjoyed the footage. I still got to mow that pasture and one more down there. But as you can see, everything looks great. The cows will be back here in two weeks and I'll see you in the next video. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, guys. At the end of this video, there'll be links to other videos. Watch another one. Let's have some fun. See ya. Woo. 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 <laughs> He's sweating again. How are you sweating again, Bill?